Okay, welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Grandson Ty and I are out here. We're gonna pick up some sticks and start a fire. Ty, ready? Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> Archie, what is <laughs> Okay, wait, I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a stick. I'll give you one. Does that sound good? <laughs> okay, you can have that one, fine. <laughs> ah. Thank you, leave them in there. All right, so grandson Ty doesn't need to know about this. Not, not yet, he's still young. Okay, got it going. It's a nice night to just sit around and have a fire like this. We love to do it. Hunter's right behind the camera. Hannah and uh, grandson Ty and Archie are playing in the yard. But we'll just sit around here for a little while and go in and get dinner going. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful morning here in Pennsylvania. I uh, just jumped in the excavator here I need to dig a little water line over to this uh, cistern tank. Plumber Jim is going to be here in about 15 or 20 minutes. And we're going to hook this up. It shouldn't take too long at all. And by the way, I don't know if you can see on camera, I set the uh, laser up there. The top of that tank is 3 feet 6 inches below finish grade. I will need a whole bunch more fill, but that's all going to come from the uh, swimming pool.
All right, I got the uh, water line thrown in the ditch there. We'll straighten it out once we cut it off. And then on the tank here, it's going to go right in this corner right here. That's a three-inch inlet where that cap's sitting right there. That'll be the fill pipe. And then on the other side is another three-inch. That will be a vent pipe. So the way I envision this working out is, you know, the swimming pool is going to be right here. All that dirt from digging the swimming pool is going to go out in there over top of the tank. This road right here is going to get moved over at least one road width. We're going to have a nice big flat level spot right here. I mean, it'll taper off just a little bit for drainage, but basically all flat through here. And then out in here where this road is, I'll start tapering down to where the new road's going to go. But this whole thing slopes away. I always talk about it. You just can't see it on camera. But, you know, down there by the wood yard, obviously, this whole thing is just going downhill towards it. But, yeah, it should work out pretty good. All right, we got Jim here today. What are we doing, Jim? Uh, we're getting ready to drop the line down into the tank. And we're making provisions to seal it off. Jim was just uh, admiring our dirt here. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. You don't need gravel. Yeah. I plant grass in that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how nice it is. It's a, it's a universal dirt. I know. It's kind of like stone with little fines in it. It's... Oh, it's, it's beautiful. So what we're gonna do is, the line's gonna go down in here and we're gonna try to bridge this so we don't have failure with sinking. Yeah. Even though Mike's tamping it real good, and I don't see too much sinking going on, but we're going to try to cover it up. And uh, this is the foot valve that does the suction out of the bottom of the tank. This is the connector. And it'll sit, and we're going to hold it up off the bottom of the tank a little bit for sediment and dirt. We're gonna put something down at the bottom of the tank. So this will go through, a piece of plastic go through there, we'll seal it off right here, and then we'll bridge this. Perfect. Uh, we need about seven foot piece. All right, Jim finished up a couple hours ago, then the hunt man and I, we ran out for a little bit. Uh, I am going to go down and mow my mom's grass, and I'm actually going to kind of take it easy here this afternoon. I'll get her grass cut, and then probably come back up here, maybe move just a little bit of dirt. Then we have some family coming over. We're actually going to shoot a little bit this afternoon as well. But anyway, I will report back in a bit. All right, I got back from my mom's place and I hopped on the excavator and I had a little bit of dirt left over and I ran one lift out over here, but I'm going to need a whole bunch more fill. I am. I know the swimming pool will generate a lot of spoil material that I can use, but uh, I may even have to truck some in. This is all, I don't know if you can tell on camera, this is still sloping down right here and you can see over here, I still need another foot right here. So it's going to take a lot of fill to go out over top of that tank. But the end result is going to be fantastic because we'll have the swimming pool over there and a nice big level area here. Really nice. That'll work out perfect. Level ground around here is a premium, so sometimes you have to make it. But the way I see it, a whole bunch more fill run out across here. And my new road is going to go down this way. It should work out really well but I'm going to need some fill. But now I actually have to run back down to my mom's place, take the uh, string trimmer down, and she has the list of a few other things she wants me to do. But I think I'll take the sidekick down, and on the way, we're going to stop and check out that uh, food plot that I planted. When was that? Nine, ten days ago, something like that. I'm not sure if we'll see anything green yet. We've had some sun, we've had some rain, but it's also been pretty cold. Like this morning, it was below freezing. But uh, it's a little bit out of the way, but we'll run down there first and check it out. And then I'll head down to my mom's. Things are starting to green up out here. It started coming on pretty quick. But then the uh, colder temperatures kind of slowed things down a little bit. It'll be soon enough, though. 
this morning before uh, Jim got here, I was outside there right about daylight doing a few things, and boy, you could hear the turkeys gobbling like crazy. Over this way somewhere, and plus over by the old apple orchard, I could hear them. Spring is in the air. Well, not a whole lot of action yet. Wait, no. The clover is starting to grow. Just starting. Yeah, it's everywhere when you look close. We'll check back in a week or so. Yeah. Ty and I have some disappointing news to share. Ty's over there digging in the rocks. But if you watched uh, Melissa's last video on Morgan's Off the Leash, she was out here actually kind of getting an idea where the pool was going to go. Yep. And at the beginning of today's video, when plumber Jim and I were over there working, I was talking about using all this material for digging the swimming pool to go out over top of that tank. So we're pretty excited. Installation was scheduled for June 3rd, but we got some disappointing news today. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I got an email first thing this morning, and I'll read just part of it to you. Uh, it starts off with, we received disappointing news or something like that. So you know that's not good. Uh, I received very disappointing phone call and was made aware on Friday, the Texas freeze in February has caused major setbacks in the production of raw materials to make fiberglass pools, boats, or just about anything else in the plastic market. And this email is real long. It goes through the whole thing. Uh, but basically, we have no idea when we're getting a swimming pool. We put a deposit down a while back. Uh, we had it ordered, and I think they were just getting ready to start making the pool. But the plant, there's two plants that make them for this company that we're working with and both those plants are shut down just recently because they can't get enough resin to make swimming pools. And that's the story we have right now. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the story. Uh, we don't even know if it'll be this year. I think it'll be this year. And he's doing some checking and things. And I didn't want to wait until fall uh, and then just have to close it for winter. But basically right now, we don't have any idea when it's coming. Do you? Because I sure don't. No, I don't. But one thing that I'm going to have to do. I actually have to say I thought this would be an excellent April Fool's joke. Yeah, and it's not April Fool's stuff. It's so. not. She's the one usually with the April Fool's stuff. But that's but. how my mind works. Halfway through, he told me this morning. Yeah. And halfway through the day, I'm like, no, maybe this is all a joke. <laughs> I didn't want to break the news to her, but I read the email. I'm like, hey, check the email. And she did. She's like, oh, boy. So that's that. <laughs> I was going to mention something else. Thanks. Oh, so we got to get ready for a wedding. And the pool was going to be June 3rd, and I had this all in my head how this is all going to work out. But since the pool's not here, I need a whole bunch of fill material in here. And we're just going to have to put a yard in here and plant grass and then tear it all out again once the pool comes. Because I need all that fill to go out. Maybe they could stand, get married right on the cistern tank. That yep. would be, just leave it like it is. <laughs> oh, you got there, Tom. I like that. Yeah, so that's the story on the swimming pool, you know? We have been waiting a long time. Uh, I never really wanted a pool, I'll be honest with you, until recently. And then once we got the ball rolling, I was actually pretty excited about it because I knew Hunter will really, really enjoy it when it does happen. And so will grandson Ty for sure. So a little delay, how long that delay is, I have no idea. But everything's just kind of screwed up right now. You know, with the lumber prices and swimming pools and what is it, semiconductors for cars. There's new cars. I saw a thing the other day, a bunch of new F-150s just sitting in a parking lot and all they're lacking are these semiconductors oh, that nobody can yeah. get. But we are all, in my opinion, too reliant on everything going perfectly in this country because it doesn't always go perfectly, obviously, but all it takes is one little thing and everything's all out of whack. Hey, Ty, come here. Come here. Can you guys hear that bird? They probably can. Because the microphone, oh, okay. Say hi, Ty. Okay, he's checking it out. Let's know what's going on. So what would you like to add, Melissa? I just need this one day of mourning. One day of mourning. So I understand everybody probably could come up with something that's more tragic than Melissa not getting a swimming pool. Yeah. And that's understandable, but in all seriousness, I'm just gonna be shocked, not even sad, shocked 
today. I'll be fine tomorrow. I was so. surprised because when she called today, I was the one that was like, I mean, I can't believe this. I was, had everything figured out. And like she said, there's a lot worse things that could happen. And that's yeah. what she said this morning. And she's right. So it is what it is. So if you're expecting to see uh, some pool installation videos come first of June, that's not going to happen. You might want to keep scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you did miss my exciting laying out the swimming pool, Go yeah. check out Morgan's Off the Leash. I have my most recent video. It's uh, number 59. Yeah, I have 59 videos out and uh, it's entertaining. I actually today started making some phone calls trying to uh, rent a dump truck somewhere because I can dig a big, another borrow pit down there. I could use my dump trailer, but I need a lot of dirt up here. I probably need 14 triaxle loads or something. So I tried you know, looked at renting a dump truck. Everywhere you call, they don't have any. They're rented or whatever, but I'll figure something out there. Oh, Jerry might have. Who? Jerry. Yeah, yeah, maybe I can call Jerry. So yeah, but that's the story on the swimming pool. Everything's on hold. Uh, no idea when it's going to happen, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, Ty, I wish you could see Ty. I should have said, he's, he's just, he's so busy. He's been picking up rocks and handing us rocks. Or Hand like me sticks, sticks and, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Well, Ty, why don't you hop up here and you can help close this video up. Okay. Woo. All right. Thanks so much for being here. We do appreciate it. Thanks for your comments. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the thumbs up for a like. And we'll see you on the next one. Wave. <laughs>